So I'm going to go take a shower. You should come along and check it out with me. Come on, let's go take a shower. You know you want to. Well, then we'll just take a picture and start. We'll just do a video. There we go. That's a sweet picture. Wonderful lady's going to go take a shower. Maybe we'll get her to tell you what she thinks about it. Okay, this is the bathroom, the shower house <gasps> here at uh, the Mexico State Park. One of them, they have them every one of their parks. So we're coming around the corner here. Going inside. And you know, the fan comes on automatically, some urinals and some toilets for a handicap beeps and these are the showers back here so we're going to go in one take a shower this is the shower facility and you got to push this to get it to work but the key is to push it hold it push it several times and eventually you'll feel the water starting to get warm so let's go ahead and Get undressed and get in here. Stop it. Finish showering. A couple of things I want to point out to you and some of the other ones that we've been to. And they put a big put a bench in here so that you can put your stuff on. This one only has one hook behind the door, which is not very convenient. So it would have been a whole lot nicer if they put a bench or something in here and made it a little bit easier. This one that's not like the one that we were up in uh, Northern New Mexico, a Heron, uh, New Mexico State Park, and then you could push the uh, little bumper thing on it that turns the water on repeatedly. You push it over and over, and it'll keep the water running and uh, for longer periods of time. This one, 20 seconds, that turns off, so you're constantly washing yourself and then pushing the button and you know back and forth. I think it. The philosophy is, hey, when you get in there, you can lather up with soap and then keep pushing the button to wash it off. But it's better than putting a lot of water in your RV tank because we don't have a dump at our, our site. Otherwise, when we shower at our uh, RV, uh, it helps keep uh, us from falling apart tanks too quickly because we're going to be here for two weeks. Okay, if you can hear me in between wind bursts here, you can see. Uh, here comes some wind. Pavilion way over there, dumpsters, and a shower facility which I was in earlier taking a shower. Remember, you came with me. But as you can see, you can camp all along here. What I like about this park is we're down on what's called the riverside section. And look at that. I haven't seen anybody swimming there, but it's been a little cool, maybe later in the day or later in the season. Campo site, no camp post. As you can see, this is site number 42. He has full hookups. Haven't seen a camp post since I've been here. Sewer dump. Let's see what kind of power he has. If you want to volunteer. Oh my gosh, that was 50 amp in there in water, which somebody's already got going on their side. And I ain't snitching, because snitches get stitches. Playground. A little basketball down there at the end. I haven't seen anybody use it. But it's here. For the kiddos. Hey, campsites right along the river. I'll walk down here and show you. It's a little windy, so I might end up doing some voiceover later. But I just wanted to show you. Haven't seen anybody swimming. Campsites all along this river. And up there, there's some people working on the dam. Hopefully, they'll let loose some more water so this fills up a little bit more. 
Okay, for those of you who have uh, watched videos on New Mexico State Parks, you've seen this sign everywhere, and it looks like it's a kind of a permanent thing. 225 per vehicle. That's the uh, annual pass. So with that, then you have the other fees, but you only have to worry about them if you have full hookup sites. If you don't, and you get a reservation, you can come here and pay 10 bucks a night if you don't have the annual pass. And with the annual pass, you can park anywhere that's not a reservation site for up to two weeks. No additional charge. But that may change, and you ought to stop by one of these little things and read it every once in a while so you're up to date on what it's all about. Okay, guys, if the wind doesn't mess things up, you can see electric sites, $14 a night. That's if you don't have an annual pass. But if you do have an annual pass, 4 bucks a night, that's what we're paying. You can camp down here and keep your dogs on a leash. And if you want to look and see if a place is available, you scan that right there on your smartphone. It'll take you where I believe you can or go here to West Star North. MexicoParks.com and you can see what reservation sites are available. Come on man, get down here. Okay, I wanted to show you this too. If the wind doesn't mess everything up. This is a group shelter uh, by reservation only. You can contact the park staff at that number. And uh, this is a pavilion. This is where you can go and camp with groups, large groups. And I'm gonna walk over here and show you multiple sites and as far as I know you can back in here back in with your vehicle and every one of these sites has uh, back in sites for this group and there's several of them in here probably about six or seven with water and a, uh, a fire pit or not a fire pit but a grill and power and probably I'm guessing at least 30 amps so we'll check that out real quick but this is a great place if you have a big church group. 30 amp. Those are 30 amp. But this is a great place if you have a big group of people to come and camp together. Really nice in New Mexico. Great job. I don't know if these pedestals actually have power to them. But there's a power junction right over here. So my guess is that they do. They're just not on right now. Okay, guys. This is a great site. It's not even numbered. But it has a picnic table a fire ring and it's kind of like a pull through so you can pull your rig up here get up on the top and then you could probably level out pretty easily but look what you're sitting next to the river and this goes all the way down as you can see as we walk i know it's windy but uh hopefully you can hear what i'm saying and then uh i might just have to do a uh, voiceover but this is amazing camping. If Patty and I knew about this, we have enough solar and water is so close by. One of the things we learned at Heron State Park was the water you'd have to go fetch in the sewer, which you still have to do here, is quite a ways away, about a couple of miles. You have to go get water and dump. But uh, since there's shower facilities close by and a bathroom, we can kind of extend that if you know what I mean. Again, here's another site. There's nobody in it. The river's right there. You could pull all the way up here. Here's your picnic table. And they already have, as you can see, with these little orange things going across here. You see them? You can hang your laundry here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll throw up some pictures. I don't know what this is. Uh, it has some signs around it to stay out. Of course, we will. We'll honor that. But it looks like a zip line going across the uh, the river. A little basket, I'll show you that in a second. Again, if the wind doesn't mess things up. Right down there is the, the, the river. And then you have this building, which is probably the electronics. But you can see it's got a padlock on it. It's all locked up and that thing weaving back and forth in the wind. It looks like you can sit on it and just go right across that line to the other side. Don't know, guys. If I run into a ranger or somebody, I'll ask him for you. But look how beautiful this is. And again, you can camp out on this area. There's probably a dozen places along here that you can camp. And if you have a annual pass, 
Well, these are non-reservation sites. First come, first serve. You can park here for up to two weeks. And then I'll put this sign up right now that says you gotta leave for six days and then you can come back. And since uh, Elephant Butte is only about 30 miles to the north of here, you can see how some people who really are experienced and wanna save some money, just go from one park to the next park, back and forth. So, well, until it gets too hot or it gets too cold, then you gotta go other places. But here's another site. You probably could get a fifth wheel as big as our fifth wheel in here, but you know you definitely can back in. And if you got several friends that are coming to camp, clamp together, you could probably all park here, provided that you have an annual pass in your window. Okay, this is a wall toilet. Again, it's probably too windy to do this, but. This is a ball toilet and it's open. This is all the way at the very end of that street. Toilet paper that you could care of it. This is all the way at the end of the street by the river where you can do some camping now. I don't want you parked in between these signs. But it looks like uh, you can park where these picnic tables are. And then there's a trail over there, which I should take. Okay guys, here I am back in the rig and I just went and took a shower and later, later this wonderful lady's gonna go take a shower. Maybe we'll get her to tell you what she thinks about it. Don't forget to push the button okay. to keep it going. Working hard? Yeah. This is her office. Look at all them screens. <laughs> and post-it notes. And post-it notes. <laughs> yep, anyway. We'll leave her alone, let her get back to it. Otherwise her boss will call me and say, hey! Just kidding. See you guys. Bye all. You're not just me with this stuff. You're so handsome. You are sweet, why don't you? Okay, can you go, can you want to go back just take a nap? <laughs> I had seven German Shepherds picked out and I came out with you. <laughs> oh my goodness, you made a good choice, mama. I think so too. They're wonderful animals. Oh, you know. You get oh, so much love. You don't know how old he is, though? I don't. I want to say seven or eight, but the hip dysplasia throws it off because it's hard to... To guess because yeah, he's... Yeah, because he's so... Um, usually a dog that has... Arthritis. Do you kill the... Do you kill the... If you put just a little boron in their water, it helps them out. Boron? Yeah, for their arthritis. For arthritis, it's really good. Um, yeah, I'll look it up. I haven't heard of that before. Boron. I give him, like, three different supplements. He gets fish oil every day. He gets and every day. It's CBD oil every day. Goodbye, buddy. See you. <laughs> Take care of your mama. Oh, you can't go with me, dude. Oh, actually, it's okay. Come on. Bubba. Hey, boy, Bubba. I'm right in the shadow. I should be on this side. You're such a good boy, Bubba. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Bubba. Look. Hi. Is there something there for him to chase? It's all right. We'll just go this way. Such a good boy, well, and we'll just take a picture and send it just on the video. Well, that should be. There we go. There's, that's a sweet picture. <laughs> yes. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I see you. There's that smile. Yeah. first uh, real weekend here and the probable problem with weekends is uh, well a bunch of people come out together to party and see how much beer they can drink this is Friday we'll see how it goes tonight <laughs> 